Of all the things you can cook, fish seems to be the one that's the most intimidating, right? Because it gets too dry, or it comes out undercooked, or it sticks to the pan. Oh, believe me, I've seen it all. And these are expensive mistakes. Hi, my name's Meryl. And just so you know, cooking fish doesn't have to be so scary. One of the things I like to do to make sure my fish stays extra moist and flavorful is to top it with a California ripe olive tapenade. The fish gets all the heat it needs in the oven to cook while the tapenade coats the outside layer with a nice layer of monounsaturated fats. Oh no, wait, they're the good kind of fats. They're monounsaturated, so don't worry. They lock in flavor and keep the fish nice and moist. So now I'm gonna prepare the olive tapenade. Now I used whole pitted olives, but you can use sliced ones as well. Now just make sure that you get California ripe olives because they taste a little different than the others. They're nice and mild. And sometimes it's hard to tell just by looking at the outside of them. But on the inside, see how they go from black to sort of a light brownish in the center? That's what you want to look for. All right, back to my recipe. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil, about two tablespoons of pine nuts, some chopped basil, this is nice fresh basil, young basil, it's really easy to work with. And some cilantro, same thing, just pop it up into the food processor it goes. All right, now this is some chopped jalapeno, it's about a half of a jalapeno here, and a squeeze of lime juice. And whatever you do, don't touch your eyes now, because there's lime juice and the cilantro and the jalapeno, that will sting. A little pinch of pepper in case the jalapeno didn't do the trick. And now I'm going to pulse. Now I've got my fish fillets over here. Basically, I just top each with a generous portion of my tapenade. Just make sure that it's on there, but leave a little bit of the fish showing. This is going to go into a 450 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the filet. Oh my gosh, I must be hungry because this smells so good. All right. When it's done, I just plate it up with some bread, a little side salad, pasta. You can serve it solo if you want. Is this scary? I don't think so.